What's up guys, we're back again today with another great video. And this video, we're actually gonna be ending the headlight build. Um, we're actually gonna go through the app of the XBT Bluetooth controller, which is the Morimoto app. Um, I don't know if there's a specific name for it, I just know that it's the Morimoto app. So that'll pretty much be today's video. Also, I wanted to let you guys know who the winner of the last t-shirt was. His name is 08 Angel scientist i think like scientist um and the answers were football and number 37 is my other hobby and my number so anyway let's go ahead and we'll get into this video i'll probably have the demo way down so you guys can see each individual ring um, but just know that they can get brighter and also guys make sure you're paying attention to the whole video because we will be giving away a shirt um, this video too and the question could pop up at any time All right, so as you guys can see right now, we have them to the brightest setting, and that's why you really can't see the individual rings through the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our app real quick right here, and we're gonna let them start pairing up. So normally the app will be like this. You can click the three lines at the top and it'll show the ones that you have paired up. So for me, I have my demon dies on the D6EB which is like the serial number of that one. And then I have my halos on the C750. Um, and I just did that so I could tell the difference. So we're gonna go to the halos first, and we're actually gonna dim them down so you guys can see each individual ring first. So there's each individual, well, they're off now. So that's each individual ring you guys can kind of see, but that's at like the dimmest setting pretty much so the camera can see it. Um, so from there, we can actually go ahead and we can scroll through the colors and they'll all change at the same time, like so. And then I'm actually going to try to get you guys a better camera angle right here in a second. So I'm just scrolling around and as you guys can see, it's changing right with it. Now one cool thing is there's actually three different outputs as you guys can see right here. One, two, and three. And if you click like one, I know it's showing black right now and that's because I haven't pulled down so low, but normally the colors would be up here. So you can actually click on each of those. So I have them locked, so we're gonna unlock them and then we'll pick number one. So it has like a white square around it. So now I'll just be changing that halo and number one is the center one. So as you can see, it's green now. So now I can go ahead and I can click off of that one and click on number two and I can pull it wherever I want it at and as you can see that is the one with the demon die so we'll make it pink okay so now we can click off of that one and we can go to number three and we can make it an individual color and we can make it we'll go with blue so there's all three of those a different color and the demon die itself is a different color. So if you guys look through how I wired up mine, yours will do the exact same thing as this. So now you can actually hit lock and they'll all go back to whatever color number one is. So now they're green. So pretty much it's the same thing for the demon eye. So you can go right here and of course we're only using one input so I just have it locked. And so as you guys can see, let me move the camera real quick. All right guys, so now I've kind of got it in the front. These headlights are so hard to film because they're so freaking bright, but in person I can see the honeycombs, but through my little viewfinder right here, I can't see it at all. I can barely tell that there's a different color there. But anyway, also don't worry about my dirty hand. <laughs> I've been washing the car all day today. So we'll go ahead and we'll actually go back to the halos. And this is one cool thing too. So I'm back to the halos now, and I can actually just pull them down and turn them off and just have the demon dies on. Or vice versa, I could go here and I could pull the demon die all the way down and make it off, which it's pretty much at its dimmest setting. You can actually also just hit off down here at the bottom and it'll turn it off too. Um, but anyway, so we'll turn it back on and we'll pull it up. So now, you guys can look over here at this one so it's the same thing you can just scroll around and as you can see they're green now going into blue and we're going to go into pink 
and then into red and orange and then back around to yellow and green so this is really cool it can pretty much do anything that you want um, some of the other cool features will actually will turn the demon dies off for this so you can guys can just see the halos the way they react um, so we'll pull them back up if I can get them dim enough we'll actually come a little closer again alright guys so here's kind of a good angle for you so like I was going to say before you can also go to themes and you can click any of them and then it'll go through a theme or kind of like um, it'll just make them look color changing so like if you're at a show you can show off like all the different colors and stuff and you can also you can take and speed them up so it'll go through the theme really fast or you can slow it way down to where it'll go really slow through them and again I'm sorry I know it's kind of like blaring the camera out but they're just so stinking bright that it's hard to film them because as you can see I got the brightness pulled all the way down so anyway so there's also the themes and then you can do we'll go back to a normal color right here and you can go into like a fade mode and then they'll fade in and out kind of like they're breathing almost um, and then of course you can pull that speed up and down too to where it's fast and then you can slow it down super slow to where you can almost not even tell it's doing it and then also you can go into strobe and then you can go slow and fast for it so this is a slow strobe and then you've got the fast strobe so it's pretty much got all the show car options for you and then of course you have all the different colors too which is really really cool and then again you don't have to mess with any of this stuff for like the turn signals or anything it just automatically does it the way we wired it um, and one cool thing is when you first turn them on all of them will be white automatically and then you can actually have like something saved so I have favorites right here and normally like sometimes I'll ride them with yellow just because I think it's kind of neat um, as you can see they're bumped back up really bright so I'll do them back down normally I'll do that and then I'll go over to my demon die and I'll have it at red normally make it kind of look mean and mad you guys can't even see the demon die right here because the camera's blaring it out because of the halo but anyway so normally I'll have it as that and then as soon as I open the app that'll pop up straight to this and I don't really have to mess with the phone so that's really cool let's go back here and let's see if we can see the way it looks all right so you guys might be able to see a little bit of it right there I really can't tell through the viewfinder but anyway I just kind of want to run through the app for you guys um, and let you see kind of how it is and it's really user friendly of course um, also to go back and talk about the favorites see I have all these favorite colors so if you find one that you really like you just have to hit the heart right here and then it'll add it into your favorites um, also they do have a shop where I think you can buy like more themes and different stuff like that as well I really hadn't um, mess with that too much um, but I'm sure that's kind of what it is it's actually their website Morimoto's website um, but anyway so that's pretty much it um, really self-explanatory um, they pretty much connect themselves so when you turn the app on for the very first time it'll say um, to find the boxes and then as soon as you do that they pretty much pop up right away and it's really really simple to um, set everything up but anyway guys so that's pretty much it all right guys so it's got dark on us um, I hope this video helps you all um, figure out basically your um, how to control it through the app it's really easy um, they really made it super easy and user friendly which is um, one good thing that I do like about the Morimoto um, XBT Bluetooth controller and stuff it's really easy to use um, you don't really have to mess with a bunch of stuff to make it work um, and normally it connects pretty quick too um, probably about maybe 10 seconds at the most is how long it takes it to connect and it interacts really quick as you guys seen when I was moving my finger around it was like interacting immediately um, but anyway guys again I hope you liked the video if there's anything about the lighting build that I didn't go over or that you guys would like me to go over again um, let me know in the comments and I would be happy to make another video and go over that specific uh, part of the headlight build um, but anyway remember to like the video 
and subscribe to the channel and uh, we've got a lot more coming up in may of course we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, rebuild that release series tc which will be really fun um, also i'm still looking for parts for it so if you guys know of any wrecked second gen tcs uh, send them my way and uh, we'll definitely get some parts from them but anyway guys until next time i'll see y'all peace out and remember build your masterpiece all right guys so it's time for the question so i want you guys to go on my facebook page i'm gonna put the um, name right here um, go on there and go to my newest picture so the last one i posted and comment t-shirt winner and you'll be the winner of a shirt it's that simple you don't even have to answer a question on this one so go ahead and do that now and you'll be the next winner of the t-shirt